Hello, everyone. Welcome to Nisreen's Nuggets. I think it's number 51. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm doing well. While I started earlier, it was not live on Facebook, but it was more like a recorded one on YouTube and I shared it on Facebook. Now I'm doing the other way around. I am putting it live on Facebook and putting the recording on YouTube. Whatever works. Um, thought this would get a little more traction. Anyways, um, as always, I'm going to talk about energy. And uh, recently I was listening to Lynn McTaggart and the stuff she talks is exactly the stuff I talk. It's like everything is energy, right? And we have to understand that energy can never be destroyed. It can be, but it can be changed and shifted. So when we change and shift the energy, how do we actually do that? The easiest way that we can do, and we as humans have the power to do, is by focused attention. So, or rather I could say focused intention. The intention changes how the energy moves. We can direct the, uh, with our intention, we can direct it, but it has to be focused intention with no loopholes, no if, ands, and buts that it will work or not work. Have it focused. And once you focus it, the intention makes that energy shift to what you want. And believe me, you are the creators. You can do this. We've lost the power. Let's regain that. You can understand this process a lot better when you understand the quantum process. You can Google it and get a lot of information on that to understand how it works. Um, I can suggest. Um, Lynn McTaggart's book, The Field, it has a lot of good information on it as well. So take a look, maybe read that book to get a better understanding. Bottom line is it works. Not only does it work at a subatomic level, it works on a greater level all around it. It is also responsible for actually um, changing it. It changing and it actually creates different brainwave patterns that help us if we choose to use it to help us. It can hinder us if we choose it to like make it hinder us, right? So I can't say help it to hinder us. That doesn't sound right, does it? Anyways, you know, our ancients knew this and used to harness this energy to serve their purpose, but we lost it. Or did we lose it or we were made to lose it by some powers be um, who wanted to have control over us? It was due to greed and power hungry people who made us feel that they are the ones who can do things and we have to listen to them, giving our control to them. Take back the control. You are powerful. And because of all this, I feel so passionate about giving back the control to ourselves. That is why I do what I do. That is why I am right now thinking about developing this program where I can help you more. I can help you understand how you tap into that energetic power that you have control over and get the things that are working for you so you can go up to the next level. You can use it for small things. We start with the small things. And when they start working, you start having the confidence to tap a little bigger stuff. Let's do this. And please, if you have any questions, please post or talk about your experiences, how you have used the power of intention to have those energy shifts. I use Reiki with the power of intention to direct healing. Among other things, of course, there's a lot of other things I use the power of intention to shift the energy. You can do the same. All of us can do the same. Please share all your uh, experiences where you have used power of attention. I keep saying attention. Well, it is attention too, but it's your intention on giving attention to that particular thing, if you know what I mean. Um, but anyways, how you have used your power of intention to shift the energy, shift your brain waves, shift things to work for you. 
please share your experiences. I would love to know about them. Until next time then, take care. Bye.